Hello YouTube, what's going on boys and girls? So you join me in Famagusta, Megs? If I'm pronouncing it the wrong way, I apologise, but some of you might know it for that famous abandoned city here in Cyprus, which is under Turkish control, really. I'll be honest with you, it's been an absolute nightmare getting here. There's very little English road signs. You can clearly tell they don't want tourists here, but just check this. So the plan is... Do a little video, you can't go in the buildings, you're not even meant to be filming if I'm completely honest with you, but... So as you can see, we're literally walking through a ghost town. Yeah, the optician sign up there. It's crazy to come and experience this, honestly. Um, I haven't got the words for it. They recommend hiring a bike to come here as well. That's how like, large it is. And I drove for a couple of miles in the wrong direction before I actually came into the site. Just taking it all in as well. But it's mind blowing. Just check this out. Literally like, you know, sort of vibe it gives me is like if you go visit Chernobyl, where it's just, you know, stunned in time basically. But um, yes, to do this, you got to pay 20 euros for car insurance, which gives you like a day pass to come in here to a dealership. Look at that. And I think in 2010, they actually opened this up to the public for you to come and have a look, come and have an explore. Until then, it was very much left barren from what I can remember. Don't quote me on this, I could be incorrect. But they would allow Turkish people to come in, but not from the Cyprus side, which was obviously going to cause ructions. So they opened it up to both. And uh, here we go anyway, check this out though. That's bonkers. Literally incredible. And I didn't even know which way to go, I'll be honest with you. So I've got no written plan with this, but we're just gonna do it and see what we get up to. And I'm gonna take some pictures as well, obviously when I'm here. So if the video is a bit jumpy, I apologize. So one of the things that I really enjoy personally is all the old signs. As you can see, the hotel sign there, the hotel sign behind there. Mind blowing this place is. And it is all set out. They've redone all the roads. Got little systems for the bikes, etc. Bonkers. So here's another bit of interesting information for you as well, right? Obviously very little signpost, but when you're in Cyprus, if you've got a UK Roman, you can just use it for free, which I did. Moment you cross that border into you, recognize is that you're in Turkey basically, even though you're still in Cyprus technically. So you know, for using my maps for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, cost me 51 pound. 51 pound. Madness, but this is Palm Beach. Do you know what Palm Beach looks like? A bit of paradise, but I tell you what, this is mind blowing. Seeing all this beauty with all the derelict stuff behind. Let me turn this around for you. All that beauty, check that water. And check all that behind, just all the derelict buildings behind, all the old hotels. Mind blowing is what this is. So, as you can see, a couple more derelict hotels, which basically look at the beach, mind blowing. There is a more modern one over there, so I guess you can actually stay here. But this place back in the day was actually very famous among celebrities who used to stay here, and it's a crying shame that the place ended up like it has but just look at that it's low in my mind if i'm honest with you so what are we saying then about the new smoky joe's restaurant mind blowing this place honestly there's loads of bits sectioned off you can't actually go down as well but just look at those hotels look at the architecture and just like the love that used to be in this city it's mind blowing don't forget a lot of famous people like richard burton elizabeth taylor they all used to stay here. Bonkers. But it's a Toyota dealership for me that does it. So on the opposite side of the famous Toyota dealership, which still blows my mind, to think there was cars in there up until 10 years or so ago. Mind blowing, but that's the picture everyone thinks of, or the building everyone thinks of when they come to this place. There's literally stuff everywhere. You'll also notice they're like lookout points, United Nations lookout points everywhere, arm guards, etc. It's all good though. So you might notice a little bit of Cyprus still holding on. To be fair, it looks like they tried to rip that down, doesn't it? For this place, unbelievable. Another hotel over there, the sheer scale of it, remarkable. But yeah, what have we got going over here then? 
we got Megs leading the way. What are you saying about it, Megs? What's your opinion on it? I didn't realize how big it was. It's surprising, isn't it? Yeah. See. So, definitely. So, um, yeah, that says no photos. So, technically, I'm not taking a photo. I'm doing a video, so they can't shout at me, can they? Otherwise, mind blowing. I love the architecture and stuff here, though. Really is bonkers. Oh, Megs is correcting us. All right, though, we we home free. Awesome. Honestly, guys, right, I'm a bit speechless with this, but it's a privilege to come along and just be able to do and see this. I feel very, very lucky. And I'm very, very excited. Pleases me just behind that tree. You'll see a bit of a Hoover sign. But let's just take you on like, look at this. Incredible, it's got like that Roman Colosseum vibes about it. Got some massive Turkish flags down there. Buildings everywhere. Honestly, this place just goes on, goes on, and goes on. Remarkable. So much to see, so much to take in. But I'd highly recommend you visiting it. Tell you what, if you're into urban exploring, this is a place you can come and just walk around without actually getting in trouble. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to get in some of these buildings as much, just as much as you would, but would I recommend it of all the armed guards patrolling? Hmm, probably not. However, I do like a challenge. But yeah, awesome. But yeah, I'm kind of speechless on this one, boys and girls. Um, I guess it's like when you go to Disneyland, right, for the first time, you're just like, <gasps> that sort of moment. That's what's going on with this, because I've seen it so many years, followed the place for so many years, seen it myself in person. It is literally remarkable, and I tell you what as well, my ginger skin is getting very sunburned up in here. <laughs> Factor 50 ain't doing much for me. Right, just to keep you updated with this. What are you pointing out, Megsu? It literally does look like an old meter, I'll give you that. So on uh, me, obviously, King Bean and everything, I got very excited. Now, don't get me wrong, the previous Toyota building is one that I do know, but the massive one with the big Toyota sign is down by here. So this is the one I was on about with the cars in there. So my apologies, but it is a checkpoint there for something, but I'll try and get some pictures or video of it. Hopefully we won't get shouted at, but do you know what? Let's take the risk. Literally, right, this is like, you know, being on like a walking dead set or something, you know? Mm. It's like apocalyptic. World is closed. Mind blowing. Okay. Just think where all these people went, and it's such a shame. Awesome. Be able to speed this up when we get to that Toyota building, boy. Right Vehicles rolling through as well. It's quite unusual to see a vehicle rolling, I'll be honest with you. As you can see, United Nations checkpoint coming up. As you can see, it literally just goes and goes and goes. But yeah, here's that Toyota building that we all know and love. This is one of the ones I just put this place on the map, in my opinion. There are actually some boards here as well, where you can see stuff that's going on there. But I tell you what, pause the video now, and you can have a little look yourself. But yeah, this, awesome so there we go boys and girls that's a little bit of a video of this remarkable place that i highly recommend you coming along and checking out yourself i'm gonna have to cut this one short because i'm actually staying two and a half hours away on the other side of the island and i've only got a car hire for the day it's not excuses either but um this was my thing to do now megs wants to go to iron Appa, which i'm cool with too so we're gonna do that and go and see all the other stuff as well but i'm gonna just try and cram as much stuff in as we can yeah this this is remarkable and honestly you can just walk for miles and miles and miles i'll tell you what i'll come back here in the future and i'll film this properly and take it all in but i think you've got the gist of this sort of place but let's finish up in this street yeah what better way to finish up there you go you get a little look inside some of these as well but yeah this remarkable i tell you what just for my ginger skin yeah smash like on this video subscribe if you haven't and just know i appreciate every single one of you and thank you for you know joining me on this journey bangs coming from inside the building as well there and there's a lot more of it coming soon but until next time i'm done boosh <laughs>